news courtesy of supreme they're opening a new store in milan milan they're opening a new store in milan it says on thursday which is today may 6 supreme will open its new location the store is located on correro how would you say that gabriel baldi in milan is open from monday to saturday 11 to 7 30. there's a great retail hours in there when i used to work in retail you should have to get there at 9 a.m sometimes 10 and stay until like 8 it was insane half an hour breaks and then when i got more responsibility while i was giving a promo when i was giving a promotion i got one pound extra on my hourly wage which was you know heavenly and i also was required <laughs> to be in the store for way more hours I, sometimes i spend 13 16 hours a day in the store you know covering for people deliveries all that stuff i wasn't the best at it don't get me wrong um you know ended quite unsorry unsorry mostly whether that word is i wasn't the best at it i think i was the best on the shop floor when it came to responsibilities of managing a team especially when you retail like high like you know uh, city center retail it's another level it's a whole different beast the people that you're bumping into is just insane i'd imagine fashion retail managing people on these sort of teams is probably a lot easier um in some extent but i think if you work in an actual retail store like a proper one it's just impossible to especially at my age at that time manage people who are you know a couple of years older a couple of years younger than me it was just a recipe for disaster and maybe i just didn't have the leadership capabilities to do so who knows but regardless this is the milan store um it looks absolutely gorgeous you got some uh nate lauman obviously insulation and artwork all over there you know in tight to tie in with the other locations but it looks gorgeous isn't it it looks really really cool i'm not going to lie it's definitely going to be um, a reason to visit Milan now, isn't it? Which is odd, isn't it? But that's kind of what people do, especially people that have the interest that I have. You usually travel either to go to clubs and different festivals, to eat at certain restaurants, um, to see certain bands play, to go to certain <laughs> retail stores, right? Those are usually the reason why you go and travel. And it's odd, it's weird, it's interesting because it usually gives you a great reason to see, you know, different parts of the world that you probably wouldn't see it's pretty awesome it kind of taps you in because immediately when you go to milan you'll be like oh where's the best hotels or where's the best airbnbs where's the best art galleries where's the best restaurants it immediately kind of boosts the local economy having these sort of stores enter there so i'm sure the local uh, retailers around restaurants and shops will be super happy bars and stuff you know imagine all the dive bars around there will be super happy there'll be a, a plethora of flipping skaters around I'm, I'm, i don't know if that's maybe a spot people go and skate here anyway but i'd imagine spots around there will turn into skate spots there'll be chill spots that people will turn will turn into that like, go on a weekend and shit it just kind of gives the whole place a boost but it looks gorgeous isn't it all open plan nice as ever it reminds me of the first time going to flipping um new york supreme store to that 2000 eight nine ten around that kind of a time um this is a time when i was obsessed with the brand do you do i had so many things with it now i have a few things but i don't have as many as i did before still kind of keep an eye on them from afar and still think you know by and large it's still the best brand out anyway when it comes to streetwear when it comes to longevity um when it comes to consistency there's just no one that does it as good as them it's just is what it is and it? everyone's sort of like copying or sort of like you know copying the blueprint that they laid down in their own way but essentially you know they're just a league on the above their own and I remember kind of doing a pilgrimage to go to New York to go visit the Supreme Store and being a bit worried because obviously you read a lot of accounts of people going to Supreme Store back in the day and it was, especially the one in New York, it was the vibe was horrendous, right? People would vibe you out, rude, um, they wouldn't listen to you, you weren't allowed to touch stuff on the racks, like just, you know, really tense environment. But then as soon as you go to a skate shop in London, a place like Slam City Skates, for instance, and you're from ENDS and you look like the way I look like, and you go into a skate shop there's no way you're going to be ever scared to go to anyone to get to get vibed out you won't be worried because the way that i got vibed out going into those skate stores when i was like 15 14 was insane they were such cunts like proper proper pricks to this day that's probably why to this day i still have such a um visceral hatred for all that palace group people because they were the same right like absolute cunts of people that are actually from ends and they try to reappropriate and larp with the kind of dress sense and the culture and the cultural sort of like influences that you grew up around they try and kind of adopt them in a sort of cosplay sort of way but then when the real version of that comes around they try and act a little bit big time yeah i don't know what it was oh it's super odd and obviously as time progressed sam city skates got a lot more because i think at the time i went there was a lot of i forgot what his name was his name pullman that guy was really nice i forgot was something pullman i forgot his name um obviously who's the other guy that was a prick that ended up being cool after um jake but again i think that was because i came in with some people that he knew and then suddenly started sucking you know that kind of stuff i started sucking dick from there but i really got a bad 
bad time in those stores and again this wasn't me saying anything i was going there super quiet i wouldn't say a word i'd have my camera strapped to my back and my skateboard just being a kid trying to like get you know get involved in culture and i'd be completely iced out so that was a bad sort of like you know precedent but when i went to new york to visit the supreme store they were so nice and this was back in the day when that I, I don't know what what his name is but he's in a couple of the shoots the blonde kid the white dude i think i don't know it don't matter but a lot of the people that i saw in the lookbooks were there too and they were safe they let us touch the clothes like we were all from london with like 15 of us or 10 15 of us and they were really nice they let us kind of do what we wanted in there and it kind of made me think oh okay it's just you know it's a decision that you make not everyone has to be out. it's of course the one thing you notice when you go into supreme store the music is hella loud and it? it's probably the only retail store you ever find where the music is probably you know at a level where you might expect you're in a club somewhere you have to sometimes shout at the sales assistants to get um to kind of inform them what size and stuff that you want in a particular sort of garment it's insane how loud it is and it's so 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 loud um but yeah it looks beautiful man it looks beautiful i'm not going to lie it looks absolutely great and then we've obviously got um, great installations in there and then we've also got a uh, indication on what the store tea is going to be like when they open up you know passion of the christ um artwork there you know courtesy of the don leonardo da vinci um i think i'm not sure if i'm from if i'm mistaken this but i'm pretty sure when supreme did that shutdown thing and they sued that illegal shop that was selling all the fugazi supreme stuff i'm pretty sure they had a t-shirt a box of a t-shirt in there that had the last supper illustration done in the box logo obviously the box logo was the size the width of the entire tea but i'm pretty sure they did it so if they if that is true and supreme purposely did this tea as a kind of homage or as a sort of petty you know jibe uh, at that old store that's a very very good little um, good little get back in it i'm pretty sure that is true maybe, maybe i'm mistaken this i'm not remembering this right but i'm pretty sure you know, the back has got grazi of course there stamp printed on looking wise and i was thinking in terms of models if they decide to go out and do lookbooks and do some cool shoots and stuff i'd love it because as they always do when they kind of open up a store in a certain location they always tap into the local scene and get people that are actually tied to the local community um you know the country at large uh, to actually represent the brand it's the best way to do it and they've always done great i think that kind of comes from the james jebbia thing of not being a skater right that's the whole premise right he kind of set up supreme as basically uh he thought that our skaters deserved uh better clothing right there's a better quality of clothing um the culture was so rich but then he was also aware that because he wasn't a skater he couldn't be the one selling it to skaters so he basically opened up the store and employed you know the best of the best from that local community to basically represent the brand and kind of give it legitimacy which obviously helped and i think they do the same thing with their lookbooks and stuff and and the models they choose is sort of a good way to kind of immediately sort of plug yourself in it's sort of like their way of like um checking in in the clothing way so what better way to do it than tapping into some of the proliferate of flipping italian rappers out there i don't understand a word of it but i love a few of these guys my one um suggestion would be to maybe involve packy i think he's from naples um i'm familiar with him because i watched gomorrah so i was looking for guys that are from those bad blocks in naples where you know it's completely it's, it's crime ridden quite poor area but there's also a lot of great artistic talent that comes out of it obviously Gomorrah being great you know a uh, place for uh, a great tv series and obviously a good representation of that whole gang mafia sort of cartel uh, thing that they have going on over there and this dude is really good um, his videos are incredible his name's Packy of course which is funny if you're from the UK you'll know what that basically means in terms of the derogatory term to describe people from Pakistan but he spells it with a P-K-Y so the P-A-K-I right yeah um, he's pretty cool I think Packy would be a good model for Supreme going forward um, I also think this guy called Sefera Basta or Fera Sefera Sefera Basta I'm pretty sure he's signed to Def Jam as well he speaks English which is obviously a good thing there's obviously a picture here with him with a little fugazi supreme uh what's that thing called plaster on his face um he sold out a couple shows here in the uk i think he came here recently to o2 i think he sold out maybe a thousand seat arena um he's obviously you know looks the part in that kind of sense i'm not really a fan of the music sonically myself but yeah, i think he'd be a good fit as well um and then who else do we have here and then of course if you want to go down the young leany sort of vibe way you got this guy called ketamana Ket ketamana is it how you pronounce it ketama 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 126 he'd probably be a good option as well going forward in terms of repping the supreme brand going in but who knows they might completely twist it and just decide to just go for other european countries and just to represent all the other 
you know, supreme stores in Europe. But I think that'd be a good way to tap in and kind of have a... Did they even have French rappers in the Paris store? I'm not too sure. But I think that'd be cool to see them featured on there. I'm sure their, their music is going to be blazing in the store itself. So that'd be cool to check out. But these will be some good artists to maybe get involved when that thing happens, in it? But yeah, big up Supreme opening the new store in Milan. Cannot wait to visit. Cannot wait to visit. 